to manipulate the shoulder bust dart on your kimono top. Okay, so that's the sleeve of the kimono. And there is the bodice and there is my bust dart. And it's coming down from the next shoulder point. So what I want to do is put it actually into the French waist dart position. But just first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the seam to my sleeve because um, it's just where I don't want it to have from a cost of fabric point of view it's very it, it'll use an awful lot of fabric to have your sleeve and everything in one go so I'm just going to add in the seam pretty much just where the curve starts from under the arm okay so, that's, so basically this will now be my sleeve and it will be separate to my box when I place it off and it also just makes it easier for the purpose of the start manipulation as well. Okay, but just to kind of point out that you can add that that seam in pretty much anywhere you want. I've just decided to do it here in relation to the curve of the armhole, or the underarm rather. So to get the bust point position, okay, um, as we know the natural bust point is about 11 and a quarter inches down from your neck shoulder point here. So I'm going to measure down 11 and a quarter and it is about seven inches apart so that's about three and a half so we're just going to come out about three and a half and that will be our natural bus point position so I've come down 11 and a quarter inches okay and then I'm coming out three and a half inches so on my kimono construction I have my waistline marked in so I'm going to draw from I think I'm going to go slightly below my waistline because obviously I want to get a nice natural line and the kimono is really going to be quite long my construction is actually only drawn as far as the hip just to make it easier for um, the dart here but the actual kimono itself is going to be quite long so proportion wise I can afford to have my dart coming down below my waistline. So I think a nice kind of natural line would actually look good about two inches below the waistline. So I'm going to come down two inches and then I'm going to, from my natural bust point position as well, I'm also going to drop that about um, two centimetres because I don't want the bust, end of the bust start actually finishing right on the nipple basically. I want it to be slightly below that. So I'm going to come down about two centimetres um, and then I'm going to draw in the line for my dart. So that is the line for my French dart. Okay, so basically now what I have to do is trace off that section. Including the actual bus point position. And of course now I don't have to include my whole sleeve because I've created a seam. And then holding the page on the actual bust point position, I swing closed my dart. So um, I think probably if I actually cut that out, it will be easier for you to see what I'm doing. into place so as you can see it lines up with my dart here and here so as I say holding the page just at the actual natural bust point position I'm going to swing it and I'm going to close the dart up here so that's gone closed now and then as you can see it has opened up this section so it was there and now it's opening it up 
and that is now where my bust dart actually is. So I'm just going to pin that in place and then I can draw around it and I can show you the new shape of the bottom piece. So I'm just going to do a different colour to make it a bit easier for you to see. As always, you fold this little piece closed, trace it through with your tracing here to get the shape. And you draw your side seam. Tracing it is so can mark a couple of little dots through. And then from the side seam draw down. And there you go. So there's your bus start. So considering how long and skinny that is you can afford to drop that bust point back a little bit as well you know from the bust point so i would say shorten that back about two centimeters and make that your actual bust start and there you go that is how to manipulate the bust start from your shoulder position for your kimono.